So if you're somebody who is looking to have just a really solid bossing build that is going to any high tier enemy in the game pretty fast, well then check out this weapon based setup that I am currently using. Before we get into everything, you can follow me on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Let me know stuff you're interested in seeing down below. Uh, give a thumbs up to help us in the algorithm. Subscribe and become a member. Now let's jump right on in. Now, I like to start off with exactly what Deviant you should be using. There's actually two options. It pretty much just depends on your play style. You can either go with Festering Gel. Festering Gel is actually a really solid Deviant because of the fact that it's going to create uh, this little like spot down here for you where you're able to just like kind of drop the little blob. He's just going to heal you up and everything. Uh, and then you're also able to, you know, get rid of some of that sanity that you're gaining there. So uh, that is if you are looking to just, you know, purely go with some like extra damage and stuff like that extra healing uh, but if you want to go all out damage you need to go with our favorite little butterflies emissary uh, the big reason why this is it entirely attacks enemy targets and marks them uh, for weak spot hits uh, and they take 25 percent extra weak spot damage for five seconds so uh, really great for just melting bosses really really fast Let's look at our cradle next and all of the different mods that I recommend for this setup. Uh, first up and the most important one is going to be that Deviation Master. It's going to give you that plus 50% damage uh, whenever you have your Deviant out. Really, really solid, obviously, just because uh, you're already, especially if you're using the Butterfly, you're already getting like 25% extra from them, and then you get another 50% from this as well. Automatic Weapon Enhancement is next one, plus 20% damage when holding a rifle and reload 10% of the magazine capacity from reserves upon defeating and target, obviously really solid. Status Enhancement after hitting a weak spot, status damage plus 25% for three seconds. Uh, this is obviously great for all the electric damage we're gonna be doing for this setup, uh, but it, again, it's, it's kind of a little bit more of a back end one, but at the same time, really useful. Tactical combo weapon damage plus 25% for four seconds after switching weapons or reloading. So, obviously, whenever you're just kind of like pouring wet uh, bullets into a larger target or boss enemy stuff like that, you're obviously gonna have to reload in between. And this is gonna give you that good little boost for the first part of that next mag. Now, the final one is one that I got when I hit level 30. If you were not level 30, when you're like watching this video currently, I uh, don't worry about this, uh, but this is gonna be first round blast after reloading instant damage, uh, power surge plus 25% for four seconds. Obviously power surge weapon, it's gonna be really solid. If you don't have this unlocked yet, just go with this rapid aid so you're able to get a little bit better healing. Now let's look at the gear for this setup and the main weapon is going to be this uh, SOCR Outsider. You're gonna actually get this from the Wish Machine. Uh, you can, I mean, obviously you're gonna be gaining a lot of star crumb early on. Go over to that. There's actually an 80% discount on it. So you have a pretty solid chance of getting this weapon pretty soon after. Uh, big thing that we like about this is the fact that it has a 35% chance to trigger that power surge when hitting an enemy and critical hits increase the ch uh, chance of triggering power surge by 30% based on its own trigger chance for three seconds and plus 30% chance of triggering power surge uh, just in general. So, and that power surge is gonna be doing that electric damage on targets uh, pretty consistently. Looking at the mod that we're gonna be using for this, I have the Shock Rampage Violent perk. Uh, dealing power surge damage grants plus 4% chance to trigger it uh, for five seconds, and it can be stacked up to four times. So you are going to be constantly activating that power surge uh, for yourself. Now, another really important part of the setup is gonna be these Mayfly goggles. Again, another kind of just like find it out in the world uh, piece of armor here, but you have a power surge trigger count plus one, and your power surge damage is minus 30%. I believe it's actually plus 30%. I think it's just like a line, uh, just kind of like showing it. But at the same time, you, you, you really need this for that extra count of it. Also, I have two pieces of the agent mask set. A uh, big reason why is because of that second part of it, that weak spot damage plus 10 percent this is obviously going to be great against targets uh, especially whenever we like put out our butterfly on target we're going to be getting 10 percent from this and then that other 25 percent uh, from that butterfly and then definitely always have at least three pieces of the raid set on uh, because once you get to that third part when load is over 80 damage taken is minus 10 percent and weapon tactical damage is plus 20 percent so uh, obviously really great to have. So when it comes to my mods on my armor pieces, I really focused into stuff that is just going into weapon damage, weak spot damage, and crit rate uh, pretty much across the board. Uh, so that was on my helmet there, on my mask, again, weak spot damage, weak spot damage, chest piece, I went into weapon damage and weak spot damage. Uh, obviously, that's just going to be kind of the, the theme across the way here, just because uh, the more that we can stack up, the better. Obviously, I have some crit rate on this one just because this mod is really juicy. 
And then finally on my boots, I actually have uh, when no enemies within seven meters around me, I have plus 12% weapon and status damage. Obviously it's gonna help two parts of the setup, the weapon itself, and then the actual ability off of it. Uh, but this is more just kind of like a fun one I put on. So there you have it. This is actually a really solid setup all around. I've been having a whole lot of fun with it. Uh, and again, it's just really great for the bossing. Definitely whenever I was trying to uh, just kind of go to especially the arachnid boss and just try to get as much XP as possible just so I could hit level 30. This was definitely really helpful uh, and didn't really take too long to do. I was able to do about five runs in like the period of like 15 minutes. Uh, so really solid all around. Also, this can be great for just like you're in general, you know, going around silos and just uh, strongholds as well. It's not just gonna be a bossing focus build. This is a weapon build. So obviously all the good effects that we're getting against bosses is also going to be applied to smaller enemies uh, so just keep an eye on this. This is going to be a really big one as we progress and like the world is opening up, even though unfortunately this game is extremely time gated. I really wish the devs would not do that. It's definitely not conducive to good gameplay. But that's pretty much all I have right now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, let me know something you're interested in seeing down below, whether it's just regular guys talking about stuff, builds, or any type of resource in that way. Uh, also, give a thumbs up on the video. It helps us out in the algorithm. Subscribe, become a member, and follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great night, day, or whatever it may be.